of SS Jason versus Overcast. Uh, we got the Overcast Roy coming out versus the SS Jason Inkling. Uh, now, SS Jason traditionally a Pokemon training player, but busted out the Inkling a lot last week from what I saw. And uh, I was really liking how it was working. Uh, is my computer going to explode today? The answer is we'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> so pretty even so far. SS Jason has been finding a couple more neutral openings, which is promising. Ooh. Oh! Got both hits. Yeah, that's the stock. Let's go, Jason. Uh. But Overcast, his punish game with his, his Roy. Roy's one of his uh, better characters. I, I remember him playing Roy a lot in Smash 4. Um, or like a decent amount. And definitely has a decent understanding of the character. So I don't think Jason wanted to throw that splat bomb the wrong way. And yeah, I got caught charging the forward smash. Does not cover jump with that space. Should be fine. Ooh, down smash. Pulled the trigger where the first hit would have connected, but spaced it for the second hit on the roll, so a little unfortunate. Yeah, I gotta replenish that. Should be able to get a decent chunk back into it. Nope. Obviously set up the bomb. That should be it though. Should be full in. Yeah, so just want a full stock lead here for SS Jason. You'll like to see it out of the the King Queen. Overcast looking for a lot of nares, a lot of forward tilts, forward smashes, and of course, Roy, that, that Chrom Roy jab is, uh, is on some other stuff. Bring it back though. Ooh, that platform just clipped the edge of it, kind of saved him. Oh, big grab here. Let's punish one up air. Finds another grab in neutral. On stage. Decent ledge trapping, but gets out of it. The really one of the most infuriating things about the roller team is, uh, well, one, getting hit by it, but, uh, having to, um, run slower on it. Just, oh, jab lock. Oh, he tried to, he stole that from Ben. Ben Tatek. Uh, he was, he was talking about a setup he's got where he jabs twice, and, for the jab lock, and then dash back rollers. Because people tend to, to roll in off of the jab lock. I need to get some C9 gear. Uh, Johnny, DM me on Twitter with the link to the C9 shop. And S Jason actually takes it with the two stocks. About three minutes at game. Two stock for SS Jason. 5%. I wonder if we'll see another Roy out of Overcast. Yeah, Jason's looking really good on this engine. Yes, I want C9 merch. I want C9 merch my whole life. Niski just makes it look so good. But, uh, see what Overcast does if he stays the same character. I think he is gonna stay the Roy. I haven't seen him pop out of the arena. Yeah, Jason Inkling really impressed me last week, um, and then he kind of just go back to the Pokemon trainer, and it wasn't working great, so I'm hoping he just kind of sticks it out. So, we'll see you getting into game two. Yeah, his Inkling's looking really good. I'd be curious to know how much he's talking to, uh, to Bentatech about it. I should take a look at these C9 hoodies. I love these C9. Oh, do I get the do I get the sweats? C9 sweats. I'd rock the C9 sweats. Because I'll probably just wear it around the house. I could use another pair of sweats. Oh, overcast does pop out. That might just be for stage. Nope. We're going the banjo. Oh boy. This is everyone's favorite character to fight online. Uh, yeah, this is interesting because 
Overcast, longtime Banjo and Kazooie fan, uh, definitely had quite the conspiracy theory that Banjo was going to be in Smash from like years before Banjo got announced. I'm pretty sure that was before Ultimate released. So, he's definitely got a really solid Banjo. Um, as, as many of you know, inventor of uh, such banjo texts as the overcatch, uh, which is where you uh, do something in the air and you somehow catch the grenade. I don't really understand, it's way too technical for me. Uh, also pioneered such combos as Nair to Down Smash. Uh, it's not true, but it works. And that's about all you need to know. Oh, jab lock. There's the same, same read as you went for with the roller earlier, just mistimed it. So... Banjo isn't Smash. That's that's my analysis of the set. Yep, he's in Smash. Ooh, Rapid Jab catches him out of the up. Not an option I was expecting to see there. Shield grabs the roller. Still living. Should be fine to get off this ledge here. Yeah, but finds the forward air. That move gets hard. Banjo's got some good ledge trapping, but it's really when he can set up his uh, grenades and his eggs um, that he'll find a lot of that success ledge trapping, and then and then charge a forward smash to cover cover all your options kind of at the same time. But Jason kind of starting to tunnel a little bit on these rollers, I think. Um, really wants to close the stock out. Yeah, there's another one. Just chill, grab no ink. I think back air would kill here. Ooh, that forward smash not gonna kill. Let's chase it. And there's the ledge trapping. Yeah, with the with the grenade coming and the wonder wing. That constant hitbox that just sits at the ledge. Real scary situation. Maybe not quite a two frame, but just bottom of the What does forward smash? Okay, Jason finally closes out that first dog. Uh, went for the nair down smash there. <laughs> oh yeah, Wonder Wing, uh, the last, the very end of it, um, the hitbox grows just a little bit and it will cover ledge. Straight side B's there. And rapid jabs. Parries the Wonder Wing. Doesn't get a punish. Ooh, good read on the up smash. Overcast now about a full stock ahead. Looking really comfortable on this banjo pick. But, uh, Jason can find a way down here. Yeah, that air dodge. Unforge. So we're going into game three. Uh, fourth set. But I think that was two stocks both ways. About three minutes apiece? Um, yeah. Let's see what happens. I've been thinking that Overcast should be going Banjo and Wi-Fi for, for pretty much the entire length of the circuit. Uh, Banjo and Wi-Fi is just such a... <laughs> Such a pain to deal with, man. He's got the projectiles, the Wonder Wing, uh, the, that beefy forward air and forward smash. He's strong. But uh, see what Jason does. I would like to see him stick it out with the Inkling. I really would. Um, I think at the start of the game, he had a lot of success on that first stock. And then when he struggled to close that first stock out, he really started tunneling on his, his roller and his... Um, uh, like grab game. Yeah, there's the Pokemon trainer. I don't know if I'm a fan of this. Um, last week when I saw Jason's uh, Pokemon trainer, it was usually in situations like this where Inkling did really good game one, game two started out hot and then kind of fizzled, and then the Pokemon trainer comes out. And I think if he can take a minute to compose himself and bring the Inkling back, it'd be a really good sign. But I guess he'll get a chance to to prove something to me with the, the Pokemon trainer. So, friendly Squirtle combos into off stage. Finds one, two, three, and it's enough! Okay! And Squirtle's back! You just had the triple dip. 
Ooh, someone put that. That was kind of nice. That was a quick triple dip to take the, the first stop. Uh, see if you can find anything. Any damage she gets now is just extra credit. Don't throw into the up. I feel like you can get up there there and into a into a forward air, like some sort of confusion, but up you might just straight up have more damage to it. But Ivy comes out. This is when I think Ivy needs to come out. That 60 to 70 percent. Um, especially if you're still at low percent. Uh, because Ivy's neutral's a little bit better, and Squirtle just doesn't have as many conversions anymore at that percent. So, and now the Zard's out here for that, that high percent. Um, I would like this better if, uh, Jason were also at high percent, but on the platform, that won't kill you. No, that's another 20-30% away from killing, I think. Um, I don't know the actual number on it, but it's a, it's a ways away yet, so. Uh... Up B. I wonder if that's supposed to be a Flare Blitz. Nope, definitely supposed to be an Up B. He's still going for it. Oop, he hit a jab. Open cast combo. Got him off stage. Has to burn a second wing just to get back to ledge. That might not do it yet. Nope. I think it's still stale. Still in the sale move. For me. That backer definitely gonna do it. So, back to Squirtle. Um. This is risky to stay Squirtle because you're so light, like that F smash is going to start killing, but if you can get this kind of one conversion, yeah, and then, oh, missed the DI. Well, if you hit the DI, it was a much better start, but now we'll get to come in, basically two stock lead. Doesn't quite have the fast smash on the down throw. I'm pretty sure that at that, like, it's still low percent, you can match out before the, uh, up tilt, if you're, like, really, really fast, or you can stay, uh, grounded, and you won't be able to get the up tilt. I think that's how that mix up works. At that point. Ooh! I'm surprised that forward smash didn't hit if he was holding forward seed. <laughs> so, Dangerous spot for overcast. Might be the end of his winner's life here, but he's got one or two wings left in the tank, and ooh, that shield crush on that pop. That F will take it. Yeah, two stock for Jason again. So Jason will take it. Uh, two one over overcast. 